Hi, my name's Emma and I'm a trainer here at Bring Your Own Laptop. So this tutorial is about importing images or logos into your InDesign file. So what we need to do is head up to File, top left of your screen, head on down to Place, click on Place and that will pop your Place box. So navigate to find your images, mine's in Images and here's my image here. You can just click OK. You can actually tick this option that says Show Import Options. I'm not going to do that just at the moment. And also this replace selected item. So we can have that unticked for now. We've got nothing on the page. But you might want to have that ticked if you have a box already on that page. You want to replace the image that's there. If you select that box on the page and then click this icon, it will obviously replace it to the image that you're after. And in this case, I do need to see more options, but I don't want to have this show import options box show up every single time. If I just hold down shift when I click open, I will get this import box here, which is quite useful. Uh, if you've got a logo with different layers to it, you can turn that on and off, anything like that. But in this case, it's not useful for us. So I'm just going to click OK. And what you'll get is a small thumbnail. You can drop that anywhere on the page. Just click that here. And I'm on my black arrow. So with that, I want to move my image just over to this top left-hand corner here. I don't want it to go to the edge of my page. I actually want it to go over the edge of my page. And that's if I was wanting to have bleed um, on the edge of my page. So I need to have my image that goes right to the edge so when my printer or myself cuts that I don't get a weird white gap down the side. In this case my flyer I don't want to have bleed so I'm just going to move that into that margin space that I created when I created my document. I also need to make this a bit larger. I can't just drag out these little icons in the corner here uh, with my black arrow without holding down anything. All I'm doing is resizing that box. I'm just going to click undo. And to resize my image and my box, I need to hold down a few shortcuts here. I need to hold down the command for a Mac or control for a PC and my shift key. And just drag out any of these little icons in the corner or the side. And what it will do is actually make your image larger or smaller, depending on what you're after. So I'm just going to take it to that edge of that margin space. I've let go of my shortcut keys now. And you'll see I do need to move that down slightly just to fit into that margin space there. So just to see how things are shaping up, when you're on your black arrow, this icon up the top here, if you just click W on your keyboard, you'll see that you get a preview of how your page is shaping up without all that those messy lines everywhere. Once you're finished looking at that, do click W again just so you get rid of that preview setting. The long way is also choosing one of these options here as well. We chose the preview option and now we're viewing it back in normal. I need to bring in a logo, so I'm going to do the same thing. File, place. I'm just going to take you through that same process. Oops. I'm going to click on my logo here. I don't need to do any of these options, and I'll just click open, and I'll drop that on the page. Again, I do want this to be a bit smaller, so I'm just going to hold down those shortcut keys. Just drag in Control or Command and Shift, and just drag in that side there. I can also, if I did move my box, and I don't remember my shortcuts, if I had my box at this size here, I can head up to object, down to fitting, and I've got a couple of options here. Fit frame proportionally, fill frame proportionally, sorry, make it larger. We do have the other options. Fit content proportionately, and then those other options down below. I prefer to use the shortcuts, but it will, whatever works for you. So there we go, just got my bottom corner here. I'm just going to make sure I do a save, and I'll do that W option as well, just to see how my page is shaping up. So that's how you bring in an image or a logo. Thanks for listening.